Hello friends, welcome to another drone programming lesson and in this lesson I'm going to show you how we can install Cygnus IDE. This is basically a programming environment that will be used to write the programs and program the Pluto X drone. So we have to visit the browser and once we visit the browser then we have to browse this URL. This is basically a download URL because at the moment the Cygnus IDE is hosted on the Google Drive to download and you you can see this URL is shared maybe on the video description or maybe the document attached to the platform on which you're watching this video so don't worry about it just read a video description or maybe look into the documents which is attached to this video itself okay so either you will see this URL or maybe you will see this URL okay it doesn't matter you click this download button and it will take you to the same URL okay so that's it once you have this page then you just have to click on this download anyways button okay and this will take maybe one or two minutes depending on the speed of your internet and you can see in a lower left corner here the download is started and we just have to wait till this uh, Cygnus IDE get downloaded on our laptop and then I will show you the instruction how you can install it and set up the path so that then we can able to write the programs. As you can see in the lower left corner the download is done so we can click here and say show in the folder and right now you can see in my download folder I have the Cygnus DENEB whatever for Windows so I will extract it here extract to Cygnus and this will take another couple of minutes hopefully and after extracting these files we will get to see the Cygnus IDE for us to use. After extracting this file we're gonna see the Cygnus IDE uh, and we then have to just uh, set up the path and then we can straight away start writing the programs to run on the Pluto X drone. The size of a file is quite a bit big. I mean, 450 plus uh, MB, and because it's a complete um, software development tool, it, it's quite natural to have such a, you know, long time to extract and download and all other things. But let's be have a patience. Okay, once the extraction process completes, we can see a normal folder, Cygnus here for Windows and we can double click and see there is another one, Cygnus folder here and inside the Cygnus folder, we have the Cygnus exe file. Okay, we will use this exe file to um, populate or fire up the software to write the programs. Now, what I usually like to do is I go back one step and I just cut the Cygnus uh, folder. I will cut the Cygnus folder, close the downloads, then go to this PC and in a C drive because usually the programs are installed into C drives on Windows. So I would like to keep my folder here. So I just paste it here. Okay, again it will take a time because um, it's quite a bit long. But you see here I have the Cygnus and um, inside it there is a cygnus.exe now one thing you have to keep in mind if you uh, give uh, a custom name to the folder then make sure then you should not add any you know space or something in between because that creates a problem uh, when it comes to building the applications so just follow the process that i have shown in the video and then just double click on the cygnus.exe and this will uh, fire up the Cygnus IDE uh, which will hopefully look like uh, Eclipse uh, which is a very professional tool to write a programs so just wait for another you know couple of seconds because this is the first time that we are opening up the Cygnus IDE on our laptop so it asks the path so in a C drive Cygnus and then workspace this is the folder in which our programs would get stored 
right so if you want you can just say use this as a default and do not ask again that's fine and then hit ok and this is basically to set up the working directory um, so whatever program we're gonna write in the future will be stored into that and as you can see now we have the Cygnus IDE for Pluto X and we can go to file and click on new and here we have a hell lot of projects so because we are interested in Pluto X we can click on Pluto X project okay give some name to your project let's say uh, test X just the generic name it doesn't matter what you give and then hit finish button and that will set up the project here into the lower left pan you can see there is a project tree where you have uh, dependencies right so when you compile this project then you will see um, it will link automatically and what we see right now on our screen is the bare minimum code okay so usually this header file will be added by default and this pluto init function on loop start functions we will get into that into the next lesson but right now the goal and objective of this video is just somehow set up the programming environment for us and here on the top you can see there's a build button so when we click on the build button it will build the project right for us and if the ide is set up properly then you will not see any error or warning or something right so the process of building the project will go smooth i mean actually this program doesn't do anything but it just help you understand if the project build succeeded that means your IDE and the programming environment is set up properly okay so it says like the project has been built successfully so you just say okay and you see here in the console build finished and now let me take you to the folder where our project will be seen so here is the installation directory in a C drive Cygnus and here is a workspace and here is our project test X right and because we built the project the files and everything will be seen here so this is the project on which we are working on so this is how we will going to install a Cygnus IDE to work with a Pluto X. Now in a future lesson, you will see me uh, explaining the code which is there on our screen. And then later on, we will going to dive deep into the advanced coding and we will build and implement a real project on Pluto X. So I hope you will find this video educational and entertaining. We'll see us into the next lesson. Thank you very much.